Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey Team Blossom, we have yet another Bedazzle course by Blossom University. So as you can see, we're gonna be creating a, a blinged out wine glass and I actually got this glass for um, one of my brides and doing her wedding uh, that's very DIY. So we're gonna start by taking a cotton swab in my rubbing alcohol, and we're going to clean the glass. It's super important that you make sure that any surface that you start on is clean. Um, because of the glue that I'm using, I'm wearing gloves. So my next step is adding some of the crystals into my uh, magic tray. And then the final step is literally just to mix our glues. Now this specific glue is what's called a two-part epoxy resin glue. It has a part A and a part B, and you have to mix them evenly. So it has to be an even amount of each glue, and then you have to mix it for a minute. So that's what you see me doing right now. I decided to use, at first, a syringe, which is kind of a fail because the other two-part epoxy glue that I have, which is made by Swarovski, it dries a lot slower. This is a five-minute uh, curing glue so it it ended up curing inside the syringe and it ended up just wasting you know me wasting that tip and me wasting the syringe and I really wasn't able to use the glue so you'll see that as I go on throughout the tutorial that I stopped using the syringe because it just became wasteful I don't tend to use this glue a lot I use it for a specific type of surfaces my go-to glue is normally E6000, but E6000 is not the best glue for glassware. Even though it will work, um, it's not the best glue, like I said. So as you can see, I just follow the pattern. I decided not to uh, place the stones with a gap. I, I decided to leave no gaps in between the stones. Uh, which I think is just as pretty as the template. What's most important is that I had something to follow so that I would achieve the look of the word glide. So I'm going to continue to trace. And for this particular bride, um, she wanted a very simple and a very um, affordable wedding. So I decided that, you know, any project that I do, you know, it's going to be extremely affordable, which is why we didn't use an expensive glass and which is why I decided not to bling the bottom of the glass. Overall, this project can probably cost you about, you know, no more if you don't. Mm, I guess it just depends. I guess with the glue and if you don't include the cost of the glue, if you're just talking about crystals and the glass, it'll cost you about 15 bucks, which is nothing. What surprised me was the amount of time that it took for me to complete this um, class. It took me about, I would say 30 minutes to get everything done, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, which is nothing. I think the major thing that slowed me down was figuring out the glue situation. But once I did, um, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there. So it's pretty much self-explanatory watching me do this you just have to follow the pattern and that's why i love creating classes because people get to see um the background work that i do it's really not hard it's just extremely meticulous as you can see and um you want to be precise because when this glue hardens it's it's really not easy to clean up your work this is by far, in my opinion, the hardest glue that you can work with. So take your time. I really encourage you to not rush. Um, if you don't want to use this glue, then you don't have to. You can use E6000. Just know that the longevity of this, the stones on the glass will not be as, as great as a two-part epoxy glue, which is another reason why you have to be very careful about who you commission or who you really trust to make the dazzled items for you. If the person only used one type of glue, be very cautious. 
you know, ask questions when, I guess you can ask questions. As, a, as an educated bedazzler, as an educated, you know, person, since you've been taking my classes, you should know that a certain type of glue is used for different surfaces. So just be cautious because I would hate for some of you guys to pay for someone to do it if you don't want to do it yourself. And they, you know, do a shabby job and charge you top price. It may look good, but once you wash the glass, it would suck if all of the stones just fell off. Um, for that reason, you can always hire me, of course. <laughs> if you wanted me to recreate this look for you or do something similar or something totally new, because as you know, my work speaks for itself. So, I'm pretty much done at this point. It's all complete. I'm very satisfied with um, how it turned out. And in the end, I didn't show you the cleanup work. You'd have to pay me for that. <laughs> but it does look really, really good. <laughs> and I'm going to remove the tape and the backing so that you can see uh, the finished product. So this is how the glass looked. And I'm going to go outside or I'm just going to put it in the light so you can see the sparkle uh, on the Swarovski crystals. So let's see. So this is the final look. Um, this is how the glass looked once I finished it. And this is how it looked before I cleaned it. I'm going to allow the glass to dry. And then in the morning or after 20 to 40 hours, I'll wash it. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Stay beautiful. Remember, create the things you wish existed. Later.